Hey, Matt. Hi, Nick. You want to play some Binding of Isaac? Uh, the Wrath of the Lamb? That doesn't yep. sound... Uh... Well, that's the um, expansion oh, okay. for it. Uh, so I've unlocked all the characters, because I've played this game a bunch. Yeah. Uh, uh, even though I'm actually really late to the party on this game. This game came out uh, almost a year ago now. Came oh, out really? end of September 2011. Is this what all the cool kids are playing? It, this game was pretty popular, yeah. Um, it piles continues of, to be pretty piles popular. Of shit that you're yep, crying piles, on? piles of poop, and I'm what crying the on them. What game is this? <laughs> this is a very disturbing ass game, uh, which is kind of why I was so late to the party. I actually bought it when it first came out. Okay. Because it's made by uh, Ed McMillan, uh, the one of the the main guy behind uh, um, uh, that game, that super hard platformer. Super or uh, Meat Boy. Yeah, Super Meat Boy. Yeah. Um, which I love. I love that game. You, yeah. Despite being complete and total garbage at it. Oop. Nope. Get away. Um. Did you shoot that guy's head off? And now his body's running yep. around. Okay. So, uh, I am not, uh, I am not a prude in any regard. Um, I, violence doesn't bother me. I've been playing violent video games my whole life, pretty <laughs> much. Uh, but this game really did genuinely disturb me yeah. when I first started playing it. Um, it, there's more themes to it going on than what you're just seeing at face value here. The story of the game is actually... Uh, you're playing Isaac, or in this case, Isaac dressed up in a wig. Hmm. Uh, that, and uh, who is a, a kid that, uh, whose mother is a super uh, insane fundal, fundamentalist Christian hmm. uh, who thinks God is talking to her. Oh, okay. Um, and thinks... Uh, That's not likely. Sort of a... Uh, um, you know, uh... Ooh, boss time? Yep. Uh, sort of a... Uh, Cain. Uh, and what's the... What was Cain's father? It was Cain, right? I don't know. I'm not good at the... What, what? The guy, the guy, the biblical figure that was told by God to kill his kid. Oh, no, it's, uh, Abraham. Abraham. Why well, no, but wasn't his... His son was Isaac. Oh, his son was Isaac. Yeah. Okay, right. Yeah, so it's, it is... It is that. Uh, his, his mother, like Abraham, is told to kill Isaac. Yeah. Um, As a test To prove faith. her, her yeah. faith. And so she does it, but he escapes into the basement, which turns out to be this really insane, <laughs> crazy labyrinth. Yeah, with uh, worm monster things. Worm monsters that you know, disappear and come out of sphincter-like holes in the ground. Yeah, that's, that's, that's lovely. Which is not an accident, I no. guarantee you, that is absolutely meant to look like a sphincter. Because <laughs> uh, this game, it, it just revels in, like, body horror type stuff. Yeah. Oop. Uh, if this game, this game could very easily be a Cronenberg film. <laughs> sure. Uh... <clears throat> And, uh, that stuff really disturbs me. <laughs> uh, yeah. And it really disturbed me when I first started playing this game. Like, the, the whole, the, you know, attempted murder of a little kid. The fact that the kid is crying on everything. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, I don't, I don't find any of the aesthetics, uh... Clever. Well, it's just it's a pile of poop. Oh, I don't, the, I don't know the that thing it's thing the worm goes in looks like a butthole. I don't know I, that it's meant to be clever in yeah. that way. I think he genuinely is just interested in those themes and is I don't know, maybe a little more desensitized to them. Mm. Uh, and it, it was it was a, a huge uh it, it was an undertaking for me to uh, start playing this game um, 
with all this disturbing stuff in it. Mm -hmm. And also, weirdly disturbing despite being also ridiculously cartoony. Yeah. Um, I, I almost think in a way it would be less disturbing if it was realistic. <laughs> Instead it's a cute cartoon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, I don't know. It, I mean, and even after 50 hours playing this game, it still gets to me sometimes. Yeah. But it was, a lot of people really loved it, and it has mm. mechanics, um, which I don't even think we've gotten into yet. No, no. It's How, a, this is on the keyboard? Well, it's on the computer, obviously. It's yeah. Flash game. It's on PC. It's, uh, yeah, it's made in Flash, uh, which is not my favorite thing about it, uh. which means <laughs> it kind of doesn't run the best sometimes, <laughs> even on my awesome computer. Yeah. Um... He actually just, uh, there was just some recently news saying that he is making a, uh, uh, a, a, basically a port of it to oh. not flash. Okay. Uh, to, you know, like, native code of some kind. Hmm. Um, which is cool, which will make it run better and that they can, uh, add some new features and stuff yeah. to it that they can't being flashed. They, they, he apparently, there's so much in the game right now that, um they could not compile it anymore in Flash. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh. They were running into errors. Uh, compiling it. Yeah. So I'm just running through this right now and not explaining anything I'm doing. <laughs> but, uh... How uh, are you controlling this? It's I have uh, WASD uh, for movement and uh, the arrow keys for shooting the tears. So it's a dual joystick. It's a dual the joysticks. Joystick, yeah, <laughs> twin stick, twin, not really stick shooter. Actually, it doesn't even support joysticks. You have to use the keyboard, and if you go into the options, uh, it says specifically, gamepad, use joy to key. Google it. <laughs> Whoops, nope. <laughs> I do. Uh, this is a really nitpicky thing, but I do that every time. So you hit escape to go into the options menu and everything and to see your stats. Yeah. So you do have stats, but okay. then escape doesn't exit. Escape asks if you want to... Oh, uh, it doesn't go back to the game. ...suicide and, and start over. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a roguelike... Like... <laughs> inspired by roguelikes, it's a procedurally randomly generated uh, levels and stuff. Um, and permadeath. Permadeath. Yeah. Uh, which, you know, that's... I, I'm, I'm a sucker for that. Yeah. If, if you tell me you have a roguelike game or a roguelike inspired game, I'm going to want to play it. Yeah. Which is why I bought it when it first came out. <laughs> also, it was really cheap. It's like, this game is like $5 or something. Oh, wow. Um, so I was like, heck yeah, roguelike made by in, uh, creator of Super Meat Boy. Yeah. Um, and, I, you know, I saw screenshots and I knew it was going to be gross, but... Super Meat Boy is gross, but in a completely different way. Yeah. I mean, maybe not different way, just not in a disturbing, like, genuine, like, body horror David Cronenberg sort of a way. Sure. Uh... And, you know, the religious themes. Hmm. That really gets to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um... Not... necessarily because of... Oh, awesome! So this is this is Krampus. He's a random boss. You can. Oh. That was a devil room I walked into, which usually has a, a devil, and you can sacrifice some of your hearts. Oh, okay. To get to pay for items. Sometimes it's Krampus. Ah. Who is uh, I think Polish. Uh, German. Yeah. Ish, probably all over Western Europe. But he's a. I I know I know it's German. Uh, but it could be elsewhere. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> he's the, uh... He's the Christmas devil. <laughs> Christmas devil, yeah. Basically, yeah. If you're bad, he's yeah, the you one that comes and gets you. Yeah, you don't get cold in Germany. Krampus comes and gets you. Uh, well, if you... When you find Krampus, the reason I'm excited about it, because if you beat him, he is a little hard. He's got a lot of health, and he does that... Some really annoying attacks that are hard to dodge. Yeah. Um, but if you beat him, you get a lump of coal. Uh, which makes your tears uh, come out black and they do a lot more damage. Oh. You cry coal. Yeah. yeah. And you have, like, coal miner face. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that, this is kind of what this, this game is about. It's 
it's a lot more luck based, I think, than than a lot of current uh, roguelike inspired games. Mm. Um, I.e. Spelunky. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so now my tears are black. Oh, okay. And they do a lot more damage. Um, it's uh, uh, way more dependent on the items you're finding. I was just going to ask about items and such. So yeah. Are, are there different Oop. weapons? Or is uh, everything tier-based? Not really. Everything is tier-based. There yeah. are things that can, like, morph your tiers. Okay. Um, and what's all the stuff on your face, then? Are those equipped items? Uh, you got those horns sort of. and you have that mask. Yeah, the the horns, um, I think, also increased my my power. Okay. Um, after I uh, clear this room off. Oh. Yeah, and I've got that, that red patch thing, which is a single item I can do, which... Ooh, that random bomb opened up the secret room for oh. me. Ooh, money. Um... Yeah, so you have stats. So these okay. are your stats right here. Yeah. Speed, uh, firing speed. Yeah. Uh, firing damage and uh and range. Sure. Um, so the different items, and here's all the stuff I have collected, which I really wish you could like hover over and get a description of. Yeah, because what is that? Thing right yeah, there. the only yeah, reason I know picture, any of the yeah. items that I have is because I've played, played the crap out of this game. <laughs> the crap out of this game, and I mean, for like the first thirty hours, and even still, every once in a while, I have to go to the Binding of Isaac wiki to look up something I've picked up. Yeah, because there's so many items in this game, especially with the expansion. Um, really, I don't know. Uh, I I bought the expansion right around the time that I started playing it again. Okay. Uh, so... Oops. Um... So, I don't know... Like, what... The, I don't... I really, honestly, don't know what the expansion adds... Onto the base game. Okay. Um... But, like, that doctor's mask, that PhD I picked up before... Mm -hmm. Uh, it makes pills that I pick up, which pills are another item that you can pick up. It makes, uh... Makes it so that I don't get bad pills. Oh, uh, okay. Um, you can pick a poison pill. <laughs> yeah. Pills are a lot like potions in... Yeah, right there. I just picked okay. up a pill. And because I have the PhD, I know it's going to be good for me. Pills yep, full here. health. Good. Yeah, That's pills like they here. say in another game. Yep. With the pills. This game is highly referential. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so referential that there's a... Uh, I hate these guys because they make you drop your money. Uh. And sometimes you don't pick it all back up. It doesn't... Mm. You don't... You drop more than what actually comes out of you. Yeah. Um. God damn it. Uh, yeah, that that red patch thing, which is an uh, item uh, that's up in the top left there under my map. You can carry one of those things at a time. And that's the mm. thing that I got hit, and then I turned red, and my tears turned red. So I'm crying blood now. Hmm. Uh, that's good. <laughs> and oh, go so, back in that other room. Oh. <sighs> What's that doorway on the right? That's the boss door. Oh. Okay. I don't want to go in there yet because I haven't found everything in this dungeon. Okay. Oh, god damn it. So yeah, that red patch lets me uh, when I take damage, I do more damage for the duration of that room, and then it resets mm. when I leave. That's cool. Um. So a lot of the uh, items are they have similar or identical effects, uh, and every. Uh, Oh, cool. Hmm. See-through door. Spelunker hat. Cool. A little reference to Spelunky. Yeah. Um, I was going to say before, I keep interrupting myself. I'm sorry. What else is new? You're watching a Player <laughs> 1 Lives Player 2 video, so yeah, this, is, that up this is what now. happens. Yeah. <laughs> um, this game is very referential to the point where it references 4chan memes, uh. <laughs> which in some ways is the most obnoxious thing about it. Yeah, I've gotten over some of the other really disturbing stuff, but nothing's as obnoxious as Fortune. Oh, come on, <laughs> really, shoop de whoop! You're gonna put an item that just makes me fire a giant laser beam out of my red, racist <laughs> mouth? Come on. <laughs> and there's some other like, f you know, casual racism stuff. Like you can get a familiar little thing, little dude that follows you around and shoots. Also, that looks like an old blackface doll. 
Oh, that's, yeah, racism, that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I don't know. <laughs> oh, come on, yeah. bastard. Yeah, this guy sucks. Guy really sucks, yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is, I'm gonna eat it here. Uh. No! Oh, oh nice. Whew. Whoop. Yep, and I'm eating dog food and it says dessert. And That's it good. says HP up. Yeah. Alright, so yeah, this is what a devil room normally looks like. Oh, okay. So that's like you can pay a heart, so you permanently lose a heart and get one of those. I'm gonna pick that up. So it increases that? my damage. Ah. Uh. It's the mark of the beast. Mm. Also, I'm skipping those. There's little cutscenes in between that just, you know, they're disturbing little stick figure drawings that just show what a horrible life this kid has had. Oh. <laughs> uh, and I've seen all of them, and... I don't know. They're not <laughs> funny. Yeah. And it's like, I get it. <laughs> I don't... I don't think anything about this game is funny, yeah. <laughs> no, but uh, I, I don't know. I don't think it's supposed to be. No, I don't was know. Was I saying that before, either. or was I saying it in the, that in the previous take of this video? I don't, I don't think it was supposed to be funny, but I don't. I also don't think it's... I uh, think these are things that Ed McMillan is just interested in. Uh, and... Yeah, but there are also things that, you know... 13 year old boys are interested in, you know, like, oh, there's piles of poo, and oh, you shot the guy's head off, and now he's running around shooting fucking blood out of his neck, you know. Well, but, yes, but because it has this, like, extra tinge of, um, it's not, it, n I, maybe I'm wrong, and maybe I'm just misreading the tone of this game, but I don't think any of that is played for comedy. Yeah. I think it's genuinely supposed to be actually kind of disturbing, hmm. uh, just because Ed McMillan enjoys disturbing things. Yeah. And I can sort of see that. I enjoy a different style of disturbing things. I enjoy really, like, super surreal, like, punching me right... I, I enjoy stuff like El Topo. Yeah. <laughs> uh, which is really disturbingly surreal, like, you know, a uh, Sucker punch right to your subconscious. Mm -hmm. uh, um, but I don't enjoy this sort of disturbing, <laughs> where yeah. it's like playing on maybe stuff that is not. People like to call this game surreal, which it's not. No, no one, no, no one knows what surrealism is. I yeah. Think. It, this is not this game is opinion. not talking about dreams. Every oh I oh, I was reading some article. I forgot I forget what it is uh, now. Someone that? used the term surreal and it was just totally completely incorrect. It's like what? Surreal? Yeah. What does that have to do with It doesn't mean weird. It's, yeah, it <laughs> Um but uh, weird, weird means weird and surreal means something completely different. Yeah. Uh, so, the, I mean, th this game is all about, um, the, but other that, than the disturbing stuff. What's that? Money in the left? Is that... Oh, that's a... Value, uh, that's a nickel. Value? Oh, okay. Yep. Whoa, five cents! Yeah. You missed a penny. I don't... I don't want to spend the bomb. I'd have to bomb that. Oh, oh I see. So, yeah. a, a bomb is worth five cents. It's yeah. not worth a penny. Yeah. Um, the, I mean, this game, uh, mechanically, is really all about... Just like a good traditional roguelike is all about resource management sure. and, and hard decisions. Like, I was in that devil room while we were talking about surrealism, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, do I want to sacrifice hearts for that stuff? And ultimately, I didn't. Yeah. Better to have the hearts. Actually, speaking of hearts, I'm going to use that. Um, so that thing that I just used, oh. there's, as I was saying before, there's a ton of things you can pick up. There's things that just have, like, all the stuff I'm wearing... Which just have uh, um, what about the stuff that was in there? Was that was it a bomb? I can't get it. Oh, because it's in the middle. I don't have anything that lets me walk over. I'll go back in there and show you after I clear this room. Yeah, I know you can't jump over 
obstacles. But you can't jump over can obstacles. Do. Oh, but. Th that's not a... Okay, I see. Yep. I thought you could... You can get stuff there. that lets you fly, or yeah. in an even more direct homage to Legend of Zelda, uh, which, you know... Arcade? <laughs> yep. You can spend uh, money oh. to get in here. Uh, and then it has 8-bit version of the music, which is good. Yeah. So what's the homage to Zelda? Oh, you can get a ladder, which lets you walk oh, over... Oh, okay, yeah. ...obstacles and stuff. No, I'm not gonna go outside. Um... Oh, there's so much to say about this game. <laughs> <laughs> we forgot to start the timer for this video, and I feel like, uh... Oh, we got some time uh, left, I think. Do I want that, or do I want the red patch? I want to keep the red patch. I would ra rather make a longer video and say what needs to be said, than, uh... Yeah. Uh, the music in this game is great. Yeah, it is have, does have great music. The music in this game is done by Danny B, who's the same guy that did the music for Super Meat Boy. Uh, okay. Which also has fantastic music. Yeah, yeah. Oh, did I not go in that other secret room down there? I don't think I, I did. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I did. That was the devil room. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, whatever. We got enough stuff. I'm just going to go to the... Go to the where? Go to the... Uh, oh, yeah. There's the treasure room. Oh, so, yeah, each yeah. each level has a treasure room, which the first one is free. Subsequent treasure rooms you need a key to get into, mm -hmm. which is another thing you pick up. Yeah, I've seen uh, you pick up several of those, yeah. Yeah, you pick up keys and bombs, and those are limited resources. Okay. So, and they're random, so, yeah, you know, you've yeah. got to, if you're not... What's that? Ooh, that is really tempting. I love this thing, but every time I get it, I end up killing myself. What if this is do? the thing that I think it is. Oh, wait, no. Never mind. Okay. This is the one that makes my bombs uh, explode into poison. Oh. Which is useful for fighting bosses, but actually most of the time you want to save your bombs for... For obstacles. For obstacles and, and getting items and stuff in the in the regular levels. Sure. Um, That's a big maggot. Yep. I don't think maggots have teeth, do they? That's uh, okay, this one does. I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm not up on my maggot science. <laughs> I'm not a maggotologist. <laughs> maggotologist. <laughs> that's that's obviously what that's called. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll use a poison bomb on that guy. Okay. There you go. Oh, I got him. Um, the thing that I thought that was is you can get a thing that makes your regular tears into explosive shots. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, it is cool, but. It's tough because you can only fire one at a time and they fire in a trajectory and uh, they will hurt you too. Sure. So you can't it's so you can't like fire at stuff right next to you. Yeah. Otherwise you will kill yourself. It does basically gives you the thing that these guys do. Yeah. It's like a like a tear mortar. Yeah. <laughs> oh fuckers. I hate those guys in the middle because they you can't kill them, they just go to sleep when you clear the room. Oh. Um. Sweet, another secret room. Pills here. Uh, so yeah, I really love this game, despite the, uh... The awfulness yeah. <laughs> of it. Um, and actually, uh, I was also gonna make a point that... I, so I, I had this game sitting in my Steam yeah. account, yep, this is uh, Binding of Isaac. We are, uh, we are going to disagree on this game, I think. But I, uh, the I, game itself is so damn good. It might have good it mechanics. It is really damn good. I, I just have no desire to play it Well, ever. and <laughs> I didn't either, but... So many very intelligent people uh, were saying so much great things about it. Yeah. That I forced myself to play it, not in spite of, but because of my distaste for it. I forced myself to challenge myself. <laughs> yeah. I, I decided I was going to challenge myself with this game, and yeah, it turns out it's fantastic. And yeah. I've I've had a lot of fun. You guys are assholes. Yeah. Um. With this game that I would have totally missed out on if I had let the 
aesthetic choices deter uh, my playing of it. Yeah. Just like what I was saying with dust. Yeah. If you don't like the, the aesthetic choices of dust, maybe challenge yourself. You sure. Know? If you don't like the aesthetic choices of anything, especially if it's a thing that other people say is good, who knows? You might like it. And it might broaden your horizons a little bit. My horizons are certainly broadened now that I've played <laughs> this game. And, I don't know, I mean, I guess maybe you can ar argue that, well, maybe it's not broadened in the right directions, but... Eh. I don't know, this game is, uh... I don't know, I don't begrudge anyone for liking this, or wanting to play it. Yeah. It's just I don't want to. <laughs> I, uh... Well, and that's fine, and I don't think you would like this type of game anyways. Well, no, I but... don't really like roguelikes to begin with. So if I was going to sit down and play one, it certainly wouldn't be this. It'd be, like, uh, what was that other game we made a video of, um, that I forget the name of now? Uh, Dungeon yeah. Dreadmore? Uh, yes, I think, yeah. The one that's more a more traditional, straight-up yeah. roguelike, but yeah. really cartoony? Yeah. Yeah, and I, I could see that. Um, but yeah, because I, uh... I got a lot of money. Let's see what's in the shop. Oh, good, greed is in the shop. <laughs> Fuck you, greed. <laughs> uh, because I like the the ever-expanding genre mm -hmm. that this is a part of, uh, and because it's inspired by games that I love, uh, and it really is doing some new stuff. There's no other game like Binding of Isaac. Yeah. Um, you know, I thought it appropriate to challenge myself with this game, and yeah. I was glad I did. But even if I hadn't, I could then say, yes, I played it. Uh, and I did not let my own uh, preconceived notions and pre prejudices uh, stop me from playing what is uh, an otherwise fantastic game. Mm -hmm. And it's great. I love this game. <laughs> I love it so much. Though even still, there's, there's shit that... There's one item in this game that... It's actually not very useful, but I wouldn't even pick it up because it, even if it was, and, you know, this probably says a lot about me saying this, but I find it really... The, there's, a, there's an item in this game called Mom's Pad, which is exactly what it sounds like. Yeah. And you use it, and it makes stink lines, and enemies run away from you. That's good. And yeah. that's fucking gross. <laughs> See, I... Uh... I guess I just don't... Whatever he's trying to do, I just don't get it, I guess. Because I don't... I don't... That's just gross. I, I yeah, don't, I but... I don't get what's trying to be said here. I don't know that he is trying to say anything. Oh, I forgot what Mom's Pearl does. I think I'll, the red patch is better. Ah. Uh, sack of pennies. Uh... Yeah, I don't know that he's necessarily trying to say anything with this, which I guess is, uh... Um, I think it's just that... Any of the spelunky, uh, <laughs> moving traps, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, th that's another very direct reference to the first Legend of Zelda. Yeah. Um, I think it's just these are things that he enjoys challenging himself with. And... I guess, I mean, I... <laughs> Oop. Oh, fuck. If I didn't eat it on the last boss, I'm totally gonna eat it on this guy. Oh. <laughs> this guy. Oh. Well, maybe not. He's a lot easier to take when he's... When he's not flying around, around yeah. <laughs> oh, he looks very unpleasant. Yeah. <laughs> Grrr. Sweet. Cube with reference me. to uh, his previous game, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, actually, if you keep uh, collecting, once you have one, they seem to come up more often, 
And if you collect, uh, I is think four. Is it like four? orbiting around you? <laughs> yeah. What does uh, that do? Right now, it's just kind of a shield. Okay. Uh, but if I get another one, it turns into Meat Boy's head. Oh. <laughs> and it will actually fire along with me. Yeah. Uh, and if I get yet another one, it'll turn into a completely autonomous Meat Boy who runs around and just runs into guys and, and beats them up for me. Hmm. Uh, and if I get a fourth one, it turns into a, a bigger Meat Boy that does quite a lot of damage. Hmm. And it's really quite helpful. And I keep almost dying, getting really lucky. <laughs> We're gonna spend a bomb for that heart. Okay. Um. Yeah, so, I don't know. I mean... Oop. Yeah, I, I still struggle with it, with the aesthetics of this game, even after 50 hours. Yeah. Uh... And, I don't know, it, maybe that's a good thing. Maybe it's not necessarily a good thing. Maybe I'm just wasting my time. Uh, challenging myself, I guess. But, I don't know. Uh, challenging yourself is, is definitely a valid... Uh, and good point of view to have. I just... I, I, don't, I don't need to challenge myself in regards to poop. I don't like poop. I don't, I, don't, I don't need to <laughs> play a video game with piles of it, you know? I don't, I don't see that as challenging myself, it's just... I just think it's icky. Yeah, and I, I guess, it's, but it's, I mean... Aesthetic choices in this game, which I wouldn't want to sit and watch a why, game full of. Why do you think it's icky, though? I mean, is because it... Because poop is icky! <laughs> but... <laughs> I mean, that's not really an answer. You, you probably think it's icky because of, uh... I don't like that item. Uh, because of, you know, some sort of biological programming that says don't be around your poop because poop well, for smells. for good reason, because it's full of Yeah, it's full of disease and it smells and, and it's going to attract predators, maybe. Yeah. Uh, but I'm okay with that. I don't feel like my position on poop needs to be challenged. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am comfortable with my relationship with poop, I guess, but which is, which is a relationship that I wanted far away from me. That's, uh, in a way, you know, that's a very base animalistic instinct, and uh, if you can get over that, you're, you really are, unlike most people claim that humans are not animals, humans have the capability to transcend that, so... You know, yeah, maybe you I, are kind of transcending your animalistic nature a little bit by uh, not being so grossed out by poop and and body stuff. Well, I'm not, you know... I don't shudder at the thought, but that's different than wanting to play a video game where I have to see it all the time. Yeah, I guess. Oop. Oop. Uh, yep, that's it. Yeah. That was a pretty good run, though. Yeah, oh yeah, I think so. I got, what was it, the third to last level, I think? Did better than I would have done playing it, probably. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, okay, well, that'll do it for this video. Oh, crap, yeah, this video's been like 30 minutes long, so... Cool. <laughs> uh, Alright, thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for listening to our rambling musings on poop. <laughs> well, can you really talk about this game without talking about poop? I don't think so. It's yeah, no. It's kind of all over the place, yeah, and you cry in a lot, so... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, I mean, if nothing else, Ed McMillan got people to talk about poop. Yeah, maybe that was the goal all along. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, Ed. <laughs> <laughs> all Thanks right. for watching. Thanks for watching.